In the time it takes you to watch this video, someone somewhere will make a shed load of money from a tiny movement between two prices. Stay with me to find out how. I hope you've never been mugged. The nearest I've come to it is when I go to the kiosk at the airport and ask to swap some pounds for euros or dollars. The rate of exchange includes a margin so big you could taxi a jumbo jet through it. It makes the tourist rates offered by the high street banks almost seem reasonable. Fortunately, since getting involved in the French property market five years ago, I've discovered currency brokers, so I'm no longer robbed blind on these transactions. Do get in touch if you want me to recommend one to you. But if you think that's all there is to the foreign currency market, you're missing a huge area of potential wealth creation. Think of all the transactions that take place on the New York Stock Exchange. The foreign exchange market is 160 times bigger. The daily turnover in the foreign exchange or forex market is $4 trillion. Yes, that's $4,000 billion. Even Ed Balls couldn't find a way of spending that much money. There's a legitimate reason why currencies need to be exchanged to enable international trade, investment and tourism, but that's a sideshow compared to the real motivator behind the biblical scale of these money flows. Trading, the posh word for speculation. You choose a pair of currencies such as sterling and the US dollar and you take a view on which one might gain or lose value against the other. So if you think the pound will appreciate against the dollar, you can buy the pound now and sell it at a profit after its value increases. But like any speculation, it could go the other way. If the pound depreciates against the greenback, you're going to lose money. If you decide to have a go at forex trading, you'll be in some very big company. Central banks, commercial banks and hedge funds have long dominated this market. But as in so many areas of life, this newfangled interwebby thing has changed everything. Whether you're a student in Warsaw, a housewife in Sydney, or a retired colonel in the home counties, if you've got a mouse and a pulse, you can play at the biggest roulette wheel in the world. You can trade online or through a broker or through spread betting. This is a global market, so you can trade somewhere any time of the day or night. It's not even a physical location like Wall Street or the city. It's the world's biggest virtual market, made up of a decentralized electronic network of banks and forex brokers. Of course, placing the trade is the easy part. Knowing what trade you should be getting into and when to enter and exit the trade, that's where the skill comes. The most popular currencies tend to be the US dollar, the UK pound, the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen. Currency quotes are expressed in two prices, a bid or buy price and an ask or sell price. For example, an online broker will show the quote for the US dollar as something like 1.6143 to 1.6146. You can buy the base currency, entering it long at the bid price, and you can sell the base currency, a short trade, at the ask price. The difference between them is called the spread which is really just a hidden commission that's paid to the broker. You can use leverage to increase the size of your trades, but as a few infamous city traders will tell you, that maximizes both your potential gains and your potential losses. But there's no doubt that if you're prepared to invest time and money in learning from the right expert, Forex trading can become a great addition to your wealth creation toolkit. The best place I suggest you go for this training is my good friend Marcus de Maria at Investment Mastery. Just go to investment-mastery.com slash op slash wealthwatch and you'll see a special offer from Marcus to attend his next one day Forex event. If you've got any questions about Forex trading, just pop them in the comments box below and I'll ask Marcus to respond. But please, don't play in this market without getting some expert help first. If you value that shirt on your back, be careful out there. Thanks for watching. 
make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my weekly episodes. Also, what else would you like me to cover? Let me know in the comments section down below. And finally, if you know anyone who's on the same wavelength as you and I, be sure to direct them to this channel. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you next week.